Okay, we're going to sample and taste to see where the reason is. It's been 14, 15 days now. Um, this is some really cool color, phenolics, all that good jazz. Um, it was a zinger, so these phenolics will help not only balance that out, but then when we do press, um, some of the sugar, the sweetness, the fruit, uh, will also pop into there, even though it is almost dry. So fermentation is about finished. So we'll see what it is. It's ready. It's ready. It's ready. So it has a really cool orange pithy thing, which is what I was going for. Starting to get a little bit bitter, which is okay. Because again, when we press, um, that'll press out because you'll release some of the fruit, some of the juice in there. Uh, the bricks, which is a measuring a measurement of the sugar, are negative 0.2, which is good. It means fermentation's um, just about done. And when we put it in barrel, it won't explode or anything. Um, to take it dry, dry, you can negative one, five, negative two, uh, which that'll finish in barrel, which is super cool, but, um, super bright. Uh, it's got some really cool aromatics of like honeysuckle and jasmine. Um, the orange pithy thing is kind of like, is it a nectarine, which I think of as white peach with it, or is it a tangerine, which is kind of that brighter citrus. Um, I think it's more tangerine, but, uh, I think it'll be a really cool orange wine. We are going to press two tons of this. Uh, we're going to put uh, some of this in the two neutral barrels, um, 2015 French oak. Um, one barrel is going to be steel and then one barrel is going to be a flex tank, which is plastic. And we'll see how the four barrels kind of evolve over time, see which one we like the most, and then hopefully repeat that again next year. So here are our vessels. We've got a 70 gallon flex tank, two neutral oak, 2015 French barrels and some steel we're going to press there's the reasoning we're going to press straight into these vessels to see how each vessel um, imparts or doesn't impart some really cool stuff on the wine and then kind of decide do i blend components together do i release separately the finishes or what happens so yeah and then, orange wine goodness So we are now pressing the Riesling and our Riesling has turned into milk. It really hasn't. It just picked up a lot of really cool phenolics and it's got some really cool texture and color. It is again, honeysuckle, jasmine, tangerine with this really cool like uh, lift because of the acidity in there. It is a beauty. My Kentucky folk, this reminds me of a pawpaw. It's got that kind of tropical citrusy lift. Pretty cool. That's an animal. milk. That's what it smells like. So, pressed the orange Riesling today. Skin contact orange Riesling ended up going 15 days, I believe. Um, it's super dope. Uh, got six barrels out of it um, and three barrels of free run juice, meaning the grapes weren't pressed yet. Once we got it into the press, imparted a lot more color, some really cool uh, flavors started popping out and a little more sweetness because some of the berries in there hadn't been popped. So I've actually got um, three different lots of Riesling here. So I'm going to decide over time, do I blend it? Do I release three iterations, kind of show the uh, progression uh, of the Riesling? So some really cool stuff, but it's all in barrel now. So I will let it chill out for a little bit, taste, sample, and, um, see what we have so look for, for this release uh quarter two of 2024 uh it's going to be high acid uh low abv but have so much character texture and nuance really excited about it um people at the winery were trying it they're really excited about it i think it's going to be some really fun stuff so stay tuned um jump on corkywines.com follow us on instagram and as always power love